I am rather known for my collection of movie memorabilia. Uh, I've got a DeLorean car sitting on the street outside my house, uh, and obviously around my desk. Uh, I fill the room with movie memorabilia to inspire me and to take you around the desk. You know, you've got the Millennium Falcon here with a TIE Fighter, a very rare Jango Fett helmet from Episode 2 of the Star Wars series, lots of alien and predator memorabilia from the aliens to the predator to a little alien dropship from the second alien movie. Uh, a really cool Soviet Superman uh, from one of the Elseworlds comic book series. An ad ad an Imperial Walker. And it's actually just off camera at the moment, but the piece de resistance is my full-size hand solo in carbonite. I've used up most of the world by now. I, uh, Southeast Asia is still uh, an open book for me. Uh, the bottom of the ocean is on my mind, and we may be going there very shortly. Uh, but certainly with the Six Sacred Stones, we venture into deepest, darkest China, into Egypt, into deepest, darkest Africa as well. There's a lot of Africa in the Six Sacred Stones. So uh, the world is literally my storytelling oyster. The Six Sacred Stones lends itself to a, a far larger story. So I will actually be continuing with this sort of international adventure into the ancient places of the world. The best situations come when I get a 14-year-old boy with his 75-year-old grandmother, and they've both got copies of the book. With Six Sacred Stones, I went to Stonehenge, I went to the Three Gorges region of China, went to Abu Simbel in southern Egypt. The future? Easter Island might be on my agenda. Maybe the Maya and the Aztecs in sort of the Mexico, Guatemala region. There are lots of really exciting and interesting unexplained places in our world. And I'm having an enormous amount of fun writing about them in my stories and the best thing is it's fiction so I can give you an explanation for Stonehenge uh, so that it propels a really exciting escapist story so uh, yeah I will be doing more sort of archaeological adventures uh, checking out some of the mysterious ancient places in the world.